All right, here he is, folks, a man who needs no introduction to this fan base. Underrated in the looks department, by the way, a man who has won a title in every promotion in which he has competed, the UFC Hall of Famer, Daniel Cormier. John Anik, if looks could kill, <laughs> Daniel Cormier would be America's most wanted. But ultimately, it's about fighting, and this dude can fight from wrestling, an Olympic pedigree, college national All-American, to a double champion of the UFC. He possesses all the skill in the world, and tonight, once again, he tries to get his hand raised. What a phenomenal fighter, and uh, got a model body, too. Good body, <laughs> great smile. 2018, as many of you know, was the year of Daniel Cormier. You can argue his win over Stipe Miocic to rest away the heavyweight title is the singular biggest win in mixed martial arts history. And now DC back on the proven ground tonight. We'll see how he handles this heavyweight challenge. So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the Heavyweight Championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon, looking to build on his legs. Yeah, we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones, ready to make a statement here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, the former UFC heavyweight champion of the world, and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Daniel D.C. Cormier. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Well, I'm nervous. You're sitting next to me. You're also in the octagon. I'm not really sure how to process all of this. Oh, yes. This is the biggest rivalry in the sport at present. John Jones, Daniel Cormier. What do you need to do differently to get your hand raised? This Got to secure takedowns, John. Got to secure takedowns. Got to be able to close the distance without taking too much damage. When you look at Daniel Cormier and John Jones, you have two of the greatest fighters of all time in the same era competing to be the greatest of all time. And I have no doubt you can take him down. Best of luck keeping him there when you get him on the court. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate after exiting the clinch. All right, the wrestler having a little trouble engaging here in the clinch, and as you well know, oh, lands a hip toss now.
to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking low because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. Oh, misses with the hook. Well, no signaling, but you see the wrestling chops, and DC's able to get this fight to the ground nicely done. I can't wear a signal anymore. My body doesn't conform to it like it used to. <laughs> I want to keep my shirt off and fight in my spandex because a singlet even makes me look bigger than I am in the octagon right now. Would they let you go shirts and skins with really using his physicality to his advantage now? He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Cormier swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Cormier goes in for the takedown now. Get it. So a nice entry and a wise move given how the things were playing out on the field. Great job not only reversing the position, but getting to your dominant position. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock the guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> is extremely slow in that. Right now they separate. Huh. Second round, straight ahead. Hashtag swollen. His face is starting to close. Man. It looks really bad. I mean, early in the fight, we talked about addressing things right now. He didn't do that. And now it seems as though he's going to pay for it. All right, five minutes in the can. Here we go now with Ready the start fight. of round two. Ready. John Jones. Good. Who's that good-looking guy? Daniel Cormier. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, Jones getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. Big ground and pound. Cormier's in half court. There it is, now he's going up. Cormier's right back to the full mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Cormier's looking for that arm triangle. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Struggling to create the angle here. It's going to be tough, but he's going to keep trying. He's got he's it. He's got it. Off. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Pinpoint jab from Johnny Bones. 84 inch reach. Must be nice, DC, right? To have that one. Whew. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area. And now.
stop, stop, stop. All right, there's the end of the round. Back to the stools we go. And you hate to speculate. All right, well, one minute of Enswell can only do so much. Let us look back at some. You ready to fight? Ready. Third go. round underway. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display. Oh, man, he's hurt. Oh, man, he's hurt. Oh, Going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Let's go to Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 51 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, John Bones Jones! All right, what a knockout for John Jones. Perhaps a bonus winning effort for him here tonight. Competitive matchup, at least on paper, but didn't play out that way tonight, DC. Well, Jones has shown and proves once again why he's so highly regarded in the history of the sport of mixed martial arts. He understands fighting at a level that not many do, and he shows by knocking this guy out, by getting the knockout victory that he wanted so badly.